Hello friends, welcome to another video of Technical Etudian. So today, in this video, we are going to design a two or a four channel WDM system. So for that, I am opening my Opti system software. And as you know that there are three basic components that we require while we design a circuit. So first one is our transmitters and second one is our channel and third one is our receiver. So at transmitter, I am considering pseudo random bit sequence generator, NRZ pulse generator, my Maxander modulator and my continuous wave laser for my input power source. And I have considered my WDM marks. In the channel, I am using my optical fiber. And at the receiver, I have used my WDM D max, pin photo detector, low pass special filter, 3R regenerator and my BER analyzer to analyze the eye diagram, bit tail rate and Q factor. So you have seen the basic simulation parameters values over here also in the diagram. So I am not doing any further changes in the circuit. I am just weighing the certain parameter values of my input power source that is my continuous wave laser. I am keeping my power as 10 dBm and minus 12 dBm. As per your choice, you can vary the values of power in positive and negative and see the variation in terms of beta rate and eye diagram. So here I considered it for two channels. You can see that my transmitter consists of two channels having the frequencies at my WDM max similar to DMUX that is my 193.1 and 193.2 terahertz frequency so after that we have decided to design it for four channels so now I have considered four channel WDM max and four channel WDM DMUX and here I am using the frequency 193.1, 0.2, 0.3 and 0 0.4 0 0.1 variation is there in the frequencies and it must be similar at MUX and DMUX both ends. So when we design, uh, while well, all the other process is quite similar, we can change our power values, we can change our other parameters like data rate, range, etc. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.